Well, welcome back to Boat Guy and Nimble 20 videos. Uh, as you can see, this is not a Nimble 20, but this is one of the things that got me sidetracked off of her. Uh, that's the Suzuki 144 stroke back there. I cannot say enough about that engine. Uh, awesome motor. Anyway, this is the Mama Bear. Mama Bear is my fishing boat. If you should happen to see me out on the ocean, uh, definitely stop in and say hello. I might even give you a fishing tip for two. Anyway, this is a 21 foot custom well on a single axle trailer. It's been a problem for me. I uh, snapped an axle on this about three years back and since then I've been looking for a good deal on a trailer which is really hard to find in the Pacific Northwest. And so I came upon this one. And the boat that was sitting on it was junk. Uh, but I got a real good buy on it, but I didn't care for the boat at all. I broke it up for pieces and parts. Uh, but what I wanted was this double axle galvanized trailer. So it took me about a week to break that boat up and get it to the dump. I ended up with this nice Shorelander trailer. It's going to look real good under Mama Bear. Then the next week, I got sidetracked again on the next project. Next project is that girl over there. That's a 25 foot Hake Seaward. Uh, fella I got it off of, bought it off the insurance company. It was just too much for him. It's gonna be a challenge for me, uh, but I can make her nice again. So anyway, but let's go into the nimble. Today's the first day that I've actually worked on her in about two weeks. So pardon the walking through the backyard here. We're going to go into the garage and I got some stuff to show you. Anyhow, she don't look outside a whole lot different. That's all my screw collection. Uh, I got a lot of material uh, so I don't have to always be ordering out and you know chasing to the stores. Well and out in the backwoods where I am now you can't chase to the store. So, but luckily over the course of my life, I picked up a good amount of material, material, bronze and brass and stainless and all the stuff you need. Uh, anyway, uh, there's the boat again. Nothing much changed on the outside. Well, actually it has. I got the cockpit put together. That's the companionway doors. And then if you look down into the cockpit, that's where the gas tank sits. Everything's nice there. All the wood back in the cockpit. And this is going to be relatively quick. What I did here, you'll notice that this is done rough. These were just too far gone, too weathered. Might have sanded them down to get that smooth finish. Ah, there'd have been nothing left. So I finished them as they were rough. I bleached them and cleaned them and uh, finished them up. I really like the looks of them actually. It's sort of a contrast to the rest of the boat. Uh, and it's just the companionway doors. And we're going to take a quick look down below where, ta-da, everything on the interior. Just today I put the last two pieces on. The last project here, I'll go down below, show you the back of this boat. Uh, actually, this little Nimble 20 is pretty impressive. After being on that Hake, which is a much bigger boat, I realize there's not that much more room on her. Uh, she's a different boat. You know, you compare an apple to oranges anytime you compare one boat to another. Anyway, that's your back walls of the Nimble. And that's where we're at. This boat is completely together. Uh, big projects left. You can see the holes there for the uh, handrails on the outside. Uh, the centerboard trunk's not done because I have to drop the centerboard out of this boat. I don't trust it. I want it out and check it out. Uh, probably replace it is my guess. But uh, anyway, that's where we're at. Couple projects. Going to try to keep going on this one so I get her done. As you can see, the interior doors, because they weren't weathered, 
I did obviously flat and shiny but that's what she looks like she's coming along uh, real quick you know comment about having material on hand uh, really makes your life easier uh, if you're going to do this to have you know a good selection of everything that you need uh, this is obviously more than the average person needs. I used to work on some pretty big boats. Uh, I try to stay away from the big girls now. But uh, someday somebody will inherit all of this. When I die, my wife will first replace me with a cat, then sell all my stuff. But that's the way it goes. Uh, anyway. Uh, so that's where we're at. So that's a quick rundown.